Hey, how's it going everybody? Dave here from Let's Talk Crypto. Today we're going to discuss how we open an online wallet for cryptocurrencies. So there are different types of wallets you can get for your cryptocurrencies. You can have an offline wallet. There's a few different onlines. There's even one, I believe, for your iPhone and Android and app. Um, so there's a few different things. But today we're going to go through um, how we set up an Exodus wallet on our laptop or Mac computer. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to exodus.io. We're going to download for our actual system. So we're going to hit the download button. It's going to ask us what we actually want to download. Once we've downloaded this onto our system. Oh, that's the wrong button. Sorry. Once we've downloaded this onto our system. We're going to go ahead and find it. If you have a Mac, you're going to find it in your applications. You're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, originally, when you first open this, this is going to ask you for a password so that you can open up your wallet. So while we wait for this to open, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks for watching, and I hope you like what we have to say here on our channel. Please like, subscribe, share. We're a brand new channel. We're doing our best to get going here. So everything helps. Of course, okay, so now that we've loaded up our wallet here, I've already punched in my password. And basically, this allows you to store all different kinds of cryptocurrency. So for example, we could put AUX here, Bancor, BAT, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, you get the picture. They're always adding new cryptocurrencies to the wallet. When I first started, there wasn't, a, there wasn't very many of these that you could actually send to this wallet. So now that we've downloaded this wallet onto this particular computer, it is now on this computer only. This is the only place we'll be able to access it from in the future. So let's go to our wallet and we're gonna go with Bitcoin, okay? So we could do Bitcoin Cash if we had some, but we're gonna say we wanna receive some Bitcoin. So I've gone to the market already, I've bought myself some Bitcoin and now I wanna send it to my wallet. Well, here is my wallet address for Bitcoin. So I would copy this address and I would go over to an exchange. Maybe I want to go to, well, here's one that I, I'm on is Quadriga. So if I was at this exchange, I could go onto my account here at Quadriga and I would go under my Bitcoin and I'd say I want to send my Bitcoin. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to send it? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them the address from my wallet, this address here. I'm going to copy and paste this into the send address over at the market, whether it's Binance, Quadriga, KuCoin, it doesn't matter. Wherever you've purchased your Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, whatever it is that you've purchased, this is your address for Bitcoin. For example, if I wanted to send over some Dash, this would be my address for Dash. Completely different address. So each currency has its own address. And you're going to want to make sure that before you send anything, you always make sure that the actual address is correct for the correct currency. Now, there are other types of wallet. This is an offline wallet. This is called a Trezor wallet. It looks like a little USB key. It plugs into your laptop and it works in... It works in a few different ways. First of all, you can send Bitcoin, you can send Ethereum, you can send Litecoin. There's many different kinds of coins you can send to your Trezor wallet. And what you would do is you would go onto their website, you would order the actual wallet and it would come in the mail. Once you've received the wallet and you have the USB wallet, you would go to somewhere like My Ether Wallet, for example. Let's say you wanted to put your Ether on your offline wallet. Well, you could come to My Ether Wallet, and I'll put the link in the description below. You would enter in a password. You would create a new wallet. You're going to download and store this key file right here, this one. You're going to store that. You don't want anybody to get that. That's your private key. This right here is your private key for that wallet, okay? So you don't want anyone, this, this is just a dummy account, so I'm never going to put money in this, I'm not worried about it. You'd want to copy, print this, save it, store it in a safe place, put it on a USB key, whatever you want, save that address. Okay, 
here it is. So now we're at, it's asking us, how do you want to access your wallet? Well, if you have a Trezor like I do, you'd pick Trezor. You could have a Ledger Nano wallet. There's many different wallets that are offline that you can buy the wallet. And then once you're setting it up, again, this would be the Ether setup for the wallet. So I would say, oh, I have a Trezor. And I would plug in my Trezor right now. And I would hit connect to Trezor, which I am not going to do, obviously, for the purpose of this video. So basically, we're a new channel here. And we're going to be here to bring you the news, new coins, the latest market trends. We're here for beginners. We're going to help grow along the way. We're going to bring you tutorials on everything from how you buy your first market order, your limit order, stop sells, all the different ways that you're going to go about researching your stocks or your coins, I'm sorry. All the different places that you can go and find out information about your coins. We're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to buy, sell, and trade Bitcoin and get into the cryptocurrency market. So once again, people, please like and subscribe, share our videos. We are new. We will be here bringing you two to three videos a day for the next who, who knows how long. And we'll also, please, get us at Twitter. We have our Let's Talk About Crypto Twitter page. And we'll see you soon.